Thank y'all for coming out and like enjoying live comedy. Y'all could have been at home watching another fucked up documentary. You know what I mean? For everybody that's at home tuning in, you could have been watching another fucked up documentary. So shout out to y'all for watching this. Has it not been a lot of fucked up documentaries lately, back to back to back, right? Like the last three months, it started off with R. Kelly, then abducted in plain sight, which was crazy. Like how you get kidnapped twice by the same dude? Like what kind of, what type of R. Kelly bullshit is that? You know what I'm saying? Like what? Second time you should have seen him coming. Then the Michael Jackson joint came out, leaving Neverland. I was like, fuck that, I'm never leaving my house. I don't know who to trust. Last week, I was watching uh, the Fire Festival documentary. I watched Netflix and Hulu, they got me twice. Have y'all seen that? It is so crazy. Okay, y'all got subscriptions, okay. That's how I check who got subscription money, who's borrowing passwords, okay. Let me tell you something. If you only watch one of these documentaries, because it's both about the same thing, watch the Netflix one, okay? Just watch the Netflix one. Same story, one key difference, okay? There's one character, and it's this guy. <laughs> You've seen it, you know what I'm about to say. Dick sucking Andy. <laughs> right? Look, if y'all don't know who I'm talking about, I didn't name him this. This is what it said when he talked to the camera. It said dick sucking Andy at the bottom. <laughs> if you ain't see it, I'ma fill you in real quick. I'ma give you the cliff notes, okay? Cause this shit was crazy. It blew my mind. I might have to take a seat. This shit is wild. Okay, so boom. <laughs> Fire Festival, we all know it's the festival where they were like tricking socialites to come. It was really expensive. It was put on by like some rich dude, Billy McFarlane. Only he wasn't really rich. He was rich like how Donald Trump is rich. You know what I'm so it's questionable, right? So he's in over his head. It's two days before the festival. He has 5,000 people coming to this island. They have a million cases of water at customs, but they won't release it because Billy owes them $150,000, right? Exactly. She said, that's a lot of fucking water. No wonder Flint don't got it yet. That shit is expensive, right? So he goes, Billy goes to Andy, right? Andy's like MVP employee of the month, right? He goes to Andy, he's like, yo, Andy, we need this water. I owe them $150,000, I don't have it. He said, Andy, I need you to take one for the team. Now I'm sitting at home watching this smoking a blunt because that's how I process tragedy. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck is Andy about to do? Right? He said, Andy, you're our gay superhero. I need you to go down to customs and I need you to suck his dick for the waters. to go from zero to dick sucking that quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm watching this, I'm like, surely Andy's gonna say no, this is crazy, right? Andy looks right in the camera, he goes, I was gonna do it, I was gonna do it. <laughs> he said, I ain't had nothing better to do, it was Friday, why not? Andy said, I went home. He said, I brushed my teeth. <laughs> he said, I swished with menthol mouthwash. <laughs> and I was prepared to suck that dick for the waters. Now, I don't know if any of you own your own company, you, you, you're a manager, you ever have to hire somebody, but I need to know exactly what type of qualities do you need to look for in a LinkedIn profile that's gonna indicate that a potential employee is willing to suck dick for your corporation. Like, I need help, who's willing to suck dick for these jokes? You know what I'm saying? $150,000, that was crazy to me. But then I sat back and then I started to get upset. I was like, the part that really blows my mind is that in a man's mind, one blowjob is worth 150 Right? In what world? In what world do you suck a dick and pff, debt be gone? Like what? 100, 100, that's a lot of fucking, what? Ladies, do you know how much men owe you money if that's the fucking case? fucking dick sucking backpack. For $150,000, your mouth better have other mouths inside of it. You know what I'm saying? Each tooth better have its own mouth and tongue. For 150, this shit though, I was so upset. One, because I'm in debt. This don't make no sense. 
100, meanwhile, I'm sucking dick, I still gotta go half on my bill at Applebee's. <laughs> Teach me your ways. brush my teeth first. That was a critical step I was missing. I was doing it with fresh hot breath. Okay, duly noted. Got it. 